I've added solar panels to the roof of my house on three different occasions in the last four years. Let me explain. I went solar in 2020 with 10 sun power panels. That was enough for 111% of my power uses at the time. It was pretty close. However, a year later, I wanted to get a little more power, uh, especially in the late afternoon because my uh, south-facing panel just weren't picking up a lot of sun uh, just when the peak rates were starting to hit. So anyway, even though I was generating plenty during the day, uh, in the afternoon, no, not so much. This was also about the time when the sdg and &E rates started going up. Good evening, everyone. I'm Phil Blauer. Your sdg and &E bill expected to be higher starting next year. Uh, originally, it was 23 cents a kilowatt, and now it was 40 cents during the peak time. The obvious call was to add more panels on the west side. I do have a west side roof right here, and uh, that seemed to make a lot of sense, so that's what I did. That helped lower my peak uh, energy usage quite a bit. As a matter of fact, in the summer, I was generating more electricity at peak time than I was using. So that was all good. Uh, of course, the winter's another problem. My next upgrade was to replace my two uh, wall-mounted air conditioners, which are getting kind of old and noisy, with new mini splits. Uh, yeah, so I did that actually oh. for the air conditioning, and the house was a lot more comfortable and quieter with the mini splits. That was all good until the winter of 2022. I saw my bill go up $66. My goodness. Well, you are not alone, Ginger. Some seeing it in the triple digits as far as the dollar amount goes. Price of natural gas went up 50%. My gas bill in December went from $93 the previous year to $160. It's like, oh, that's when I decided, like, wait a minute. These mini splits can generate some heat. Let me try using them. And I did use the mini splits, but uh, I didn't have a really enough power to run them all the time, so I was still using the furnace. So at the time, my electric bill for the whole year was about $92. Well, you know how high your sdg and &E bills got last year. Brace yourself, because they are expected to go up again. Uh, but uh, the gas bill was going up. I mean, it went up to, hey, gee, it was close to $600 just from October through March when I needed to use the heat. Uh, yeah, I have an old house and it's not well insulated. So even though it's pretty warm here in San Diego, it still gets down in the 30s uh, at night in the winter, and that's when I need to run the furnace. So that's when I decided to add another mini split to our bedroom so I can use that for heat in the winter and maybe not have to use the furnace much at all. So anyway, that led me to, okay, I'm gonna need some more panels. So I got the last four more panels just a couple days ago. And so far, they're giving me 25% more electricity than I had before. Um, yeah, uh, long story, but uh, I really got those panels, and I wanted to put them on the south-facing wall of our house, underneath the window in our bedroom, but I just couldn't figure out the mounting thing. There's just not a lot of mounting options for wall mounting of solar panels. Um, yeah, if I could put them on the wall, I would have done it myself, but I ended up changing my mind and um, hired a guy to just put them on the roof the other ones so I think it'll be okay it might not get quite as much electricity in the winter but at least they're out of the way and I don't have to worry about uh, the lawnmower kicking a stone up against them or something like that so anyway I think it'll work out okay I actually expect these panels to cut my heating bill down in half so anyway we'll find out next year after we get through the winter before I go a quick word about the cost Altogether, I spent about $16,000 on the solar uh, after all the credits and rebates and that kind of stuff. So that's 19 panels. Well, originally, my uh, gas and electric bill was $1,200 a year. Uh, now it's you know closer to six or 700 and I'm hoping to cut that in half with the new mini splits. So uh, yeah, I think that'd be pretty good. Um, and in addition to that, the rates have almost doubled from San Diego Gas and Electric. So it used to be like 23 cents a kilowatt, and now it's like 40, up to 70 cents a kilowatt during peak time. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to beat them, but you might ask, do I regret not getting all of them in the beginning? Uh, no, I think that worked out fine. I only bought what I needed at the time. Um, of course, over time, I found more and more uses for electricity, so that was fine. But uh, also the solar panels that come down in cost, so yeah, the ones I just put up were about half the price per kilowatt. 
as the first unit. So it's like, that's fine. So will this cut my energy bill in half? Uh, I think so, but I'll let you know next spring.